Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're all keeping safe out there. Coming to you with a first look of this uh, Hope Retainer work Ring. It's a narrow wide type design um, and I've picked it up in a 40 tooth. As you can see on that label right there. So Hope Retainer Ring 110 BCD, 5 volt, 40 tooth and in black. And as with the vast majority of the Hope parts, it's designed, tested and manufactured in Barn Oldswick in Lancashire in the UK. Let's pull it out of the packaging here and get a detailed look at it. So yeah, I've gone for a 40 tooth. This is obviously, you need to spec the chainring for your terrain you're likely to ride. This is gonna go on my gravel bike. So I'm gonna get that, match this with a, a 42, 11, 42 cassette. So it does have that slightly less than one to one ratio, which is good. So you can see some nice laser etching there between the, um, the bolts. It looks pretty cool. Fairly subtle, I think, but um, yeah, fairly nice. Um, spinning it around here, see if we can see any differences. No, nope, not really. Onto the back, as you can see there, 110 BCD, 42. Not quite sure what RR would stand for. Um, but as you can see, you can see the alternate and narrow wide pattern on the teeth there. It looks fairly interesting and decent. And there's um, like a mud cutout on the narrow one, which is helpful to stop the chain getting picked off in muddy conditions. One of the issues you can find with narrow wide chain rings is that the mud can clog up there and uh, lift the chain away from the teeth, derailing it. Um, so that's one of the key features I'd look for, but I don't tend to ride in mud all that lot that often, so not on a not on a road type bike anyhow, but these things do happen. There's, yeah, there's a nice little sort of machine detail that looks like they used a ball end cutter to make that that gives it a sort of infamous hope machined style which is a bit of a, a funny thing if you ask me but it kind of looks cool i guess it's a styling type thing rather than a structural type thing see some more of a pocketing and wasting the way at the back there it's pretty pretty neat um one of the reasons i went for this hope chain ring is um it was a similar cost to some of the far eastern alternatives so i always think that if prices right um, by like US or British made products if it's the same cost and there's no performance you might as well support local jobs um, you see there's a little counter bore on the uh, bolt there and on the other side there's a little chamfer to help get the, the bolt guide through it's quite nice little touches you know a lot of things you won't see these neat little details on but it's nice of them to go the extra mile to make it easy to assemble so yeah, all in all, it's a chain ring. But um, for the cost, I think it was a pretty good deal. I think it's about 36 UK pounds. Just gonna throw it on the scales here and see what it weighs in at. So if scales are zero, let's uh, plonk it on. And that is 77 grams. Let's give it a second attempt. 77, 78 grams, so yeah, pretty pretty light and decent so nice one so if it hasn't become obvious i'm about to do a one by conversion on my specialized diverge if that interests you subscribe and stay tuned and that'll be with you in the next couple of weeks and uh yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video cheers bye